Hello everybody, Driven by Moss for Reaper 15.5 is out and it brings a feature many people have been waiting for because you can now finally map parameters to your hearts like for your plugins. Something I was hoping that would be implemented in Reaper itself but sadly it's not and I finally took the plunge and implemented it myself and it works like this. If you open here up the Driven by Moss window first thing you notice is we have now nice little icons on all the buttons which makes it look more identical on the different operating systems and also a bit nicer than the only background color it had before you might notice here there is a new button called parameters so that's the one to press for editing the parameter mapping of a specific device and if I click it now you will get an error because you first need to select a device and the important thing is that this device is selected on your controller for example like here on my Ableton push controller and I have now a track selected which does not contain any devices so we get this error message. Also make sure that you have here the controller which is active selected so at least one active one so also if you select one which is not active you will also get an error message that a controller is not running. So back to the push we select now our track which contains two elements so the diva as well as the byte and if we press now the parameters you will see the parameter mapping dialog which works like this on the left you see all the parameters that are available and for the UE Diva it's lots and lots of parameters it's here 2364 parameters so it's quite helpful to have this kind of pages you can create for example I just created here a filter page which contains here cutoff and cutoff 2 and the amplifier page which has envelope settings it works like this so you have your amount of parameters available and you can map that to as many pages as you like and assign the parameters as well to the eight slots here you have also a search here especially if you have 2000 parameters it's difficult to find so for example if i search for frequency and i can simply press the return button on my keyboard i will find all the different names which contains this pattern freak and you can do the same up here if you prefer the buttons and you can also search backwards if you press that and if you want to clear that field you can simply press that button so since this is already mapped let's uh, go with a new one the second one which i will select here now let's go into the track and then i select the second plugin which is here is Native Instruments Bytes plugin and this is not yet assigned so let's open up again the Driven by Moss window and let's say we want to map the parameters and here you see there are no pages yet. What we can do now is we add here a page first. Let's simply rename that. Uh, you can also remove it if you don't like it. Simply remove it, edit it again and you can rename this page. So let's call this common for example we only want to store here the frequency and we only want to store here the saturation as well and do we also want something else let's say we want to go here let's go with the wet as well and we want to have these three you can also leave fields empty for example i could also i can also reorder them so let's put that down so you can also have here an empty field which is also not an issue then you simply save here and then you will see on the controller here we have now the three new fields so the frequency saturation and the wet field so let's try that maybe let's close it so you can better see that so i can change here the frequency i can change here the saturation as well as yeah, the wet control is up here. Uh, that's the one coming from Reaper. So here is your wet control, which is also mapped nicely. If you want to uh, remove a mapping, it's also easy to do. You simply delete all pages. Let's remove all pages and you can save it and then it's gone and you are back to the default settings. Also, another change I tried with some workarounds to make the selection follow the selection on the controller. It does not work fully, but 
in most cases it works nicely. So as you might not have noticed, if I select now Diva, it also selects Diva here in the chain list as well as here. You can also have this undocked but then it's important to have all of them undocked and in the same chain state because if you have mixed settings it gets very very confusing to use and another thing which you can have in the reaper settings is here if you go on the plugins page you can say allow only one fx chain window open at a time and say open track fx window on track selection change if you want to have them not docked but instead have them changing with the track selection and only make pop up the chain of the selected track then this helps you to do it as well so this both options should now work as i said it's not working 100 all the time but at least most of the time it follows and then you can see what you're actually changing on the big screen as well so i hope you like this new feature then make some funky music 